There's nothing more frustrating than watching your honeybees die and not being able to do anything about it. It's March 5th. I had 100 colonies on March 1st. And yesterday I had a lot of colonies that were outside. And I went through them real quick. And they're a lot smaller than they were 10 days ago, about 10 days ago, a little over a week ago, I went through all my colonies and I cleaned out the bottom screen. And then I made notes on here, this right here, NH needs, needs honey, NB needs, needs bees. So I knew this one was low on bees and low on honey. So it's basically 10 days later. That's how many bees there, not enough to restart. Okay, I cleaned out this bottom screen, we'll say 10 days ago. All these bees were alive 10 days ago. And what I do is I, when I clean the bottom screen, I throw it in a pile and then I throw it out. That's where the majority of my bees are right now, out there in that pile of dead bees. You know, I make a lot of videos talking about the toxic chemicals the crop farmers keep putting in the environment, killing my honeybees. I've come to the conclusion I'm not able to uh, keep honeybees alive here where I live in mid-Michigan. I've had 11 years to try. Um, I'm probably still going to have some. What happens is if I can get to the warm temperatures and the queen can lay enough to replace the dead bees, I can get them going again. But if it's not warm enough, that's why I have to bring them inside try to keep it warm enough, and if the queen is not able to replace the dead bees, the colony shrinks, and it basically it, it puts a dead end to that colony. So here's a colony here. This colony was uh, bawling the queen yesterday, so I put the queen in the cage overnight, and I looked at her this morning and decided, if the colony doesn't like her, I don't like her either. See all the dead bees? Again, this was cleaned out about 10 days ago. It took about four days over a week ago to go through over 100 colonies. I had a little over 100 at the time. So about 25 a day inside here. So I work my ass off to try to keep my honeybees alive, but it's basically I'm a busy idiot. You guys don't seem to uh, understand. You're wasting your time. If your bees keep dying and you live around a bunch of crop farmers, it's because of the toxic chemicals your bees pick up during the summer and put in the hive. And there's a lot of hype about all these products on the market. They're going to help your honey, honeybees. A month ago, I bought, I bought this Honey Bee Healthy, and I bought the Dot AP23 Dry. Uh, I, I put this in every hive. You know, some of them were running out of honey, and I wanted to see if they would... Uh, these right here fit underneath my bottom screens. So I have bottom... Well, not bottom screen. My, my upper screen. There's a screen there, and this is the only thing that fits in there. So I'd fill these full of syrup, and the bees don't take it. And what happens is, syrup crust over. If they wanted that, they could, probably could have gotten to it, but they're not interested in it. Another product, this is the first time I tried this product. I, I won't buy it again if I still have honeybees in future years. Feeding stimulant with essential oils helps your hives to thrive. Bullshit, okay? And then this right here, I've always had this trouble... Your, your queen won't lay until the colony was, was ready, until the weather is good. That's why I, these colonies here were small. There's these right here that are inside here. I didn't take these out over the last couple of days because I knew they were small. And what happens is you take colonies outside, the sick bees, they don't want to die in a hive. So they'll fly away and die somewhere else. And before you know it, your colony is even smaller. And I'm, I won't be surprised when I go through these colonies that 10 days after I went through these, same time I did these others that I just brought in that were outside yesterday, I won't, find, I won't find enough bees. I won't have enough bees to even add. What I'm doing is this colony here that I killed the queen. I'm taking a frame. There's like, there were three, three frames of bees. It was a good sized colony. And I'm putting a frame in each colony. I'm not worried about caging a queen or anything like that. You know, that the rate my bees are dying, who cares? So, in other words, the hype isn't, you know, it's just all hype. Get your money. This The Dot AP23, I, I mix it up with syrup. Uh, they don't take it right away. Uh, you could plaster your walls with this. 
This is the first time I tried to dry. The reason I didn't want to go with um, the pre-made stuff was because I wanted to use my own Domino cane sugar. I don't want to use corn syrup or anything like that. It might have uh, toxic chemicals or GMO grains. So I'm pulling a lot of these out of the out of hives. If they have a, a frame of pollen in there, the queen want, will lay. If the colony gets forces to delay, she'll start laying. But I couldn't, I couldn't be sure because I've been moving frames around all winter and putting in honey and stuff. I couldn't be sure that every hive actually had a frame of uh, pollen in it. So I, I put in these in all my colonies, you know, just the same as I did those every single colony. And basically, it's a failure. I just wasted my time. So, very disappointing. You guys don't listen to me. Um, Americans are some of the most ignorant people in the world. Your government's corrupt. They want you to get sick. Your bees dying like this means the environment's not healthy. Of course, they they die after three four months through winter. And you're not going to die right away from these toxic chemicals. But as you get older, you're probably going to get cancer or some other disease, Alzheimer's or whatever. The, the rich people don't want you to be healthy when you're older. They want to make money off of you. Any All the money you saved up during your life working, the rich people want that. And they don't want to pay your retirement. So they, they're putting these chemicals in the environment intentionally. The government's not going to help you. The EPA is basically on the side of the corporations. And, and nobody's going to admit this. It's basically the rich people have their own society. What they do and say amongst themselves, it doesn't really get out into the general public. Okay? So that's all I got to say. Again, it's frustrating when honeybees die and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. All I can do is try to combine colonies and try to keep them going long enough for the weather to change. It's warm enough and, and maybe the, I can get the queen delay enough. So I do have some larger colonies out in the other building, but that's just the way it is. Not enough larger colonies. Okay, thank you.